for this uh, parametric design, we will begin with English units and start sketching a uh, using the line tool on the XY plane, you're going to create this uh, sketch as shows on on the handout sheet. So to begin with connecting the origin and draw this vertical line. And your sketch at this point doesn't have to be precise. Just try to make the shape of the truss very similar uh, proportion to what you have on the sheet. So as we are sketching this, um, notice I have my also axis on just to show you that these axis lines are already shown here on my default settings back to the inventor. And most of you probably have that axis already. But normally I don't have that on my screen, but this time I left them on. So as we are sketching this, make sure that you repeat these lines that I'm showing you here from point to point. Rather than creating one segment line, we are separating those, showing three different lines. Rather than one piece, we have three pieces. The reason for that is that we can make those uh, equal by adding the constraint relations. Select the equal relations and add between each one. So this eliminates one equation, so we can already make those equal. So we don't have to worry about adding another equation for that. So our goal is to make these members to be equal size, equal size. And now we are going to create relations between each element and make sure that they're all using the coincident. So now I'm going to draw this center line. So I draw the line first and I make it as a construction or center line. The reason we are doing that, so center line has a property where you select for dimensioning would give you the entire dimension rather than half of the span you will have entire span because you notice your equation relation is based on entire span length so that means from one support to another support is total is whatever the dimension would be notice this the key thing here is that the variable name here is d0 notice that the first dimension you have adds variable name to d0 because we're going to use those at the equations here the second one would become d1 as you notice here it shows d1 on the top and now we're going to add the formula one fourth of d0 rather than given the exact value we, we add uh, relations or equations in this case so i've noticed that there's the fx before the functions symbol before that number one and a half. If we decided six, one fourth of six is one and a half, as you see here, does calculate. The same thing, we're going to apply the next member, the vertical member, is going to be three fourth of D1. Three fourth of D1, as you notice here, we have that also calculated for us. And the last one, we're going to add the same equation is given there as two thirds of D1. One. So remember that equation was saying that one fourth of the span, and then this one says two thirds of rise. This is rise, the maximum height. So now adding those, what well, they become depends on this one. So the relationship between this one, the rise is depends on span, and as the span changes, that would change as well. So our goal here is to maintain the same shape, same type of the truss as we change the span. So rather than creating so many different versions of this same type of this uh, truss, we have one drawing which is adapts to every uh, span length that uh, design requires. So before you finish this, make sure that everything is constrained and then use the mirror tool. Um, as you notice, there is one dimension missing. That's for center line. It's not that critical. Um, if you want to eliminate that, you can add dimension to it. So right now we are making sure that all 
members are selected except the middle one for the mirror tool because you don't want to duplicate this middle line so select everything there's one more here this should be also oh, not that one we should not repeat that one but we should repeat uh, one more on yeah that line here so that's something we could do the mirror line is defined and now we can apply so that saves you a lot of time if you do half of them constraint the other half would be exactly mirror image of that now we can finish this by going to add in one dimension to that one too if you want to that's an option so eliminate that constraint missing dimension there so that is how we create this sketch now we're going to do a little uh, management using the manage tool to go to the function fx and see what happened here what we did so far uh, the first one d0 shows six d1 shows one inches uh, one fourth of the d0 and as equations you see that we're going to do one more thing here before we end this is adding the custom uh, relations to someone is using this would know what to do what kind of variable they should define and this span size so we give some variable here define that like in programming that you have done before maybe in any program class you have to define what exactly uh, span is so span if you just type that word span this program would not understand unless you say okay span is a text and also is equal to l what is l you have to define that also then you're also going to say that there's add numeric value for l and saying that that would be equal to again that's the units you say select default units is inches we just leave them that inch right now we don't have to change that and also we will say l is equal in numerical value would be right now shows one by default we can change them to any number that we like the six for example in this case also you may want to add something on uh, the zero instead of being six you'd say that was l so uh, now is that is defined what the span is and we can instead of every that you see d zero you can type l so it so the program would recognize l because we have predefined them l being span so now as you notice that this one also is a little fx before that six i cannot change anything on this one i have to go to function parameter and fx parameter and then change those values i can say 12 as you notice that the shape stays the same so its goal is to when i open your assignment sheet that you have submitted i'm going to add some different number than you have and check to see the behavior of this uh, truss if the shape maintains its original shape and that means passes that test that we have done correctly otherwise you will lose some of these connections or this uh, size and shapes are not going to be proportioned if they are not quite right so that's how we will create this sketch and also don't forget to save on the sketch mode and of course you have to finish the sketch before you save and then submit this as it is that concludes our assignment for this trust project